In the late 1970s, in the Soviet Union, mathematics department in Soviet universities, namely the mathematics department of Moscow State University, which is considered as the most prestigious mathematics school in Russia, was actively trying to keep Jewish students and other undesirables from enrolling in the department. One way they use is to give the student a different set of problems during their oral exam. These problems are carefully crafted to be really hard to solve, but with elementary solutions, they are hard to find. Any students who fail to answer them could easily be rejected. And these kinds of problems are later being named as Coffin's problem, or Killer problems. Today, we are going to look at one of the Coffin problems to solve. Consider a sequence of real numbers a1, a2 up to an, where these numbers form an aromatic progression with a common difference d. Find a closed form of the sum from i equals to 1 to n minus 1 of 1 over cosine of ai times by cosine of ai plus 1. Can you figure it out? At first sight, this really seems impossible to solve, but this can be actually solved by using some common summation techniques. And one of them is by using telescoping sum method. The main idea in this solution is to try and express the sum n as a difference of two consecutive terms from a sequence, say bi plus 1 minus bi, so that if you can add up everything, all the terms in the middle will be cancelled out and we are subtracting each term once and adding an identical terms, leaving us with just bn minus b1. So the question now is how do we determine what the sequence bi is? Well, this is where we'll make an educated guess by observing that the denominator of the sum n is a product of two cosine functions. And doesn't this seem familiar to having a product of two polynomials factors in the denominator of a fraction, for example, 1 over n times by n plus 1? Based on this observation, some of you may have guessed that we should try to split the sum n into a over cosine of a plus 1 minus b over cosine of a i, where a and b are objects that we are going to determine. This step is similar to what you would do for partial fraction decomposition, where you would split the fraction into two partial fractions and then determine the objects a and b. Just that now, we kind of have to find out what's a and b with a different approach. Well, we want to rewrite the expression 1 over cosine of a i times by cosine of a i plus 1 into a over cosine of a i plus 1 minus b over cosine of a i. In other words, we want a times by cosine of a i minus b times by cosine of a i plus 1 to be equal to 1. And here we see that this seems similar to the expansion of sine of a i plus 1 minus a i, which is equal to sine of a i plus 1 times by cosine of a i minus sine of a i times by cosine of a i plus 1. But we have to tweak it a little bit so that this whole thing is always equal to 1. And this is where we note that ai plus 1 minus ai is always equal to d, as this sequence is an aromatic progression. So we can actually divide both sides by sine of d, and we'll end up with 1 being equal to sine of ai plus 1 over sine of d times cosine of ai minus sine of ai over sine of d times cosine of ai plus 1. Thus, we can pick our a to be sine of ai plus 1 over sine of d, and b to be sine of ai over sine of d. Going back to our sum, we can actually pull out the factor of 1 over sine of d, and notice that it is equivalent to tangent of ai plus 1 minus tangent of ai, since tangent is sine over cosine. And look, now we just have a telescoping sum, which we know that when we were to write out all the terms, many terms will cancel off and eventually we are just left with 1 over sine of d times tangent of an minus tangent of a1, which is the same thing as tangent of a1 plus n minus 1d minus tangent of a1 over sine of d. And if you would like, we can further rewrite into some other forms, but I think I will stop here. Now if you have reached here, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more math videos. Click on the video on the screen now to solve more coughing problems and I'll see you on that video.